for what's up. How y'all doing? Look. Big turkey leg. My dog waiting on it. So we're about to go outside. I got a story to tell ya. You know what I mean? So, you know, you like little stories sometimes, right? Like when I tell you little stories? Okay. I'm going to tell you a little story. It's a little, it's a big leg waiting on a leg. Stinker. <laughs> Watch it. Go eat. Okay. I could, I could tell my story now. And then if you look over here. Got to clean the cage again. I didn't know little chickens take so many dumps. Look at that. Look at them. They huddled up together. But anyway, it's not what I'm here for. The reason I'm here today is to tell you a little story, right? I'm going to walk with you a little bit. See my hat? Got my Charlotte hat I'm repping. For, for show. So look, boom, right? I pull up. I pull up, you know, feeling good. You know, some days are better than others, but I'm feeling good and everything. I go to the gas station. I go. I'm on pump seven now. Remember pump seven. I go inside. You know, there's no one in front of me. Let me get, you know, this amount on pump seven. Then I go back outside. I know I was on pump seven. Pump seven is empty. Pump seven is so empty. Another car pulls up on pump seven. And I'm looking around. I'm like, one of my friends is playing a game on me or something. They play too much. Somebody is playing. I'm looking for their cars and they're coming around the corner laughing. No one's coming around the corner laughing. It's a girl at pump seven. I'm sitting on pump. I'm waiting. I'm on pump seven looking. And the girl, the girl is wondering why I'm sitting there. She's apprehensive about coming out of her car. And she's wondering why the hell I'm sitting there. And she's looking. And I finally said, ma'am, I just had my car right here on pump seven. She's like, oh, is that the reason why you're sitting here like this? She's like, is it? This car right here, a, a so-and-so car? I said, yeah. She said, oh, somebody just sped off with the car. Someone stole my car. <sighs> Ran inside. I was at the QT. You know, we down south. There's QTs down here. That's the gas station. Hello, how you doing today? Yeah, they just stole my car. I was on pump seven. The lady's like, I'm wondering why someone else is coming asking for gas on the same pump when you paid. Okay. The security guard came. Thank you. Call the police. Call the police. How you doing? Boom. They call you. You know, they stole my car, whatever the case may be. Now I'm freaking out. You know, I'm sweating. Sweating like a, like a pig. People always say, like, I don't know if pigs sweat, but. That's the analogy people use, sweating. Oh, Jesus. Good Lord. Call the police. Now we're waiting on the police to come. Waiting on the police to come. Sitting there thinking, I don't believe this. I'm down south with an F. I'm down south. You know what I mean? I'm telling the story. Look at this one. Look. Look at this one. Turkey leg gone. The bone is naked already. I'm down south. This ain't New York. What is going on? Waiting on the police. Then the security guard said, you know what? Let me look at the cameras. Look at the cameras. He's like, oh, man, look at that. 
a tow truck, y'all, a tow truck where the person on the passenger side came. As soon as I got out of the car, they backed up, picked the car up, and hooked it. And the other person got into the car. No, the other person got into the car, then they hooked it. I guess the other person said, yo, nah, because, you know, it's a push start. So the other person said, put it down, put it down, and they sped off. They sped off. Go eat. Go. They sped off with the car. Now I'm coming out on camera looking crazy, wondering, I knew. Sped off with the car. He's looking, he zoomed in. He said, oh, I could see the name of the company. Looked at the name of the company. So-and-so company. They're doing a little investigation right there. They're looking. They said, okay, I can see the name. I can see the three, num four numbers at the end, but I can't see the first three numbers right. And they're guessing the numbers to the company. Then they had a clever idea. They Googled the company's name. Boom. The person who owns the company popped up. Allegedly, they have been arrested before for stealing cars. 2017 or something, they stole a pickup truck and they got arrested for, you know, repetitive thieves, you know? It's like a person that sells drugs. Allegedly, they go back to the same thing. If you break into houses, that's your vice. So... I'm still sweating, you know, like someone threw a bucket of water on me. I'm calling my friend. They're not picking up that phone. You know, like I don't even call people like that. But when I'm finally calling somebody, they're not picking up their phone. You know, feel free. You know how you feel this frigid, you know, look at this one. So. They called the company, and uh, the man said, "Hey, how you doing? I have a I have a um tool for you. Can you come over here by the ABC store down south? We have what you call ABC store. You know, I think it's called alcohol beverage something whatever. It's a liquor stores up top. They call them ABC stores down here." But the ABC store is next door to the gas station. He's trying to get the guy to come back. The guy's like, oh, no, 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 no. Mm -mm. We're busy. We're not going to be able to do it. He said, okay, well, since you're busy and you're not going to be able to do it, we see you on camera, you stole a car. Then he starts to stutter a little bit. And he's starting to tell his story. They said, no, you stole the car, whatever the case may be. We got you on camera. We have to call the police. So now... You know, we already called the police, so that's what we told them. Now, as we were talking to him, he hung up the phone, and now we're sitting inside waiting for the police and still looking at the cameras or whatever the case may be. And right before the police came, he called back, and he said, your car is around the corner, around on the other side of the gas station. But while we were up front, the guy that worked for QT, he said, man, I see this this pickup truck, look, this, uh, the tow truck looked just like, we saw the reflection of the tow truck because the ABC store has mirrors that reflects. He said, man, it looked like that right there about to go. I looked, I couldn't really see it. They had already left. But then he called back, he said, the car's around the corner. We look around the corner where? And we looking around, you know, we walking around. This is how we look. We look just like this. We walking around, looking around the corner. We are going to look. We walking around. We are going to look, and we look, and my car is right there. As I'm looking, the police pulled up, and then police came in and said, "Man, when we pulled up, we saw the car, the description of the car, right there, while we were coming up." What they did, they snuck in and dropped the car back off when they realized that we got them on tape. Thank God for that. I had already called my insurance, you know, already called the police. 
and made a uh, report. So now the guy, the guy called back. He said the car was there. And then he was talking to the guy from the gas station. And I picked up the phone and asked him, why the hell he even took my car? He claimed that he had a repossession uh, to repossess a car that looks like mine. Which doesn't make no sense. If you're repossessing cars, first thing you'll do is check the numbers or plates. And how could you repossess a car that has 30-day tags? How could someone already owe money when they just got the car? Doesn't make sense. But they try to steal the car, y'all. They did steal the car, actually, because it's a theft. It's like someone who walks into your house and you catch them like, oh, no, 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 oh, no, 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 I'm at the wrong place. No, man, it is trespassing. So they stole the car, and I'm asking him why. Then he started to be belligerent on the phone, talking about, ain't nothing, ain't nothing, ain't shh happened to your car, and all this and all that. And, you know, the car's there, never left a lot. I said, no, that's not true. We see it on camera. But anyway, don't worry about it. I'm going to make a report, and I'm going to press charges. So the police came. I made my report. And uh, so now I'm waiting on the detective to call me in order for me to proceed with the situation. Because, you know, you guys have to be careful when you go at the gas stations. You know, raise your window up, lock your doors, and then take your keys. You know what I'm saying? Because they watching. And the police officer said, yeah, they're out here now. They watch you. They're watching you. They might be working with three, four people when you go inside. They're monitoring you. And it doesn't take long for them to take your car and leave with it. So that's the story. And that's what happened. I did get my car back, although I had just gotten my car detailed. The car was uh, ransacked through. And, uh, you know, it was dirty and stuff like that. But I'm going to take it to the dealership just so uh, they can re look over it because they just did the 21 check, point check, whatever. The car was good. There was no problem with the car. So now I want to take it back. That way I know nothing happened to it while it was in their possession. But, yeah, I just wanted y'all to know what the update is. And uh, just be careful when you're out there, you know, because um, the thieves are out there. I think the same thing happened to Akon in Atlanta. So just be careful. You know what I'm saying? But that's it. I'm going to sign out. Two fingers. Say bye. You say bye? Huh? Okay. All right now. Peace.